we're going to put a light source on it. A light source means where is the sun shining, okay? Now on this, as you can see from the sketch, this, this painting will have a light source coming from my left, going across here. What I want to do is I want to get rid of this white over on the left-hand side. In essence, what the white paper does, it draws the viewer's eye into that area where there's a lot of white. Okay, my center of interest will be in this little area right here. So what I, in essence, what I have to do is I have to nullify this area here. We want to direct the viewer's eye into a certain area of the painting to make it work. So here we go. If you use a cobalt blue and put in permanent rose, you'll get a very, very, very nice cool color. I want a way cool painting, so I'll use a way cool colors. <laughs> okay, here we go. That should do it. Now, what this will tell the viewing public with the shadows are running across this area here is it will tell the viewing public that there are trees or something out of the composition that is throwing a shadow here, okay? So in essence, what we're doing is we're telling a story of what's out of the composition with the shadows that go on here, okay? Okay. Coming over here, we'll grab up a big bunch of it, and we will just start a, oop, first thing I need to do, first thing I need to do, excuse me, I need to come into this area here, and I need to do my cabins first, okay? Now, using a small brush. All the other brushes, uh, the other brushes I will use will be the big flats for this. I'll use an inch and a half flat for the shadow, okay? So, but what I'll do now is I'll come in and I'll mix up, I'll grab some of that color and I'll come up here. My light source is coming from my left, okay? So, there will be a shadow there, here. There will be a shadow here. See how that makes that almost a three-dimensional image. Now there will be a little shadow there and from this little shed here there would throw a shadow like that. See these little white areas here? I will leave those alone. I will not go anywhere near those, okay? They're nice little sparklers, okay? Now continuing it on, there's a lot of repetition and shadows, okay? If there's a shadow here, well by all means we need a shadow over here, okay? So we'll come over here and we will go, we'll put a shadow here, just like that, okay? Now this side of the building would be in shadow here, okay? So just put a shadow there, and it will connect and come up into this area here, just like that. And we can put a shadow there. If you don't like that sticking out, well, just take your fingers and wipe it off. That would be fine. I see I have some really some neat things happening in here, and I can continue that shadow on out if I would like. Now, that little area there is completed. There's one other thing that we could do here if you are inclined to do it is to do this. Always on these little cabins, there are little chimneys here. So if you put a chimney in there, then it would throw a shadow going across here like that, okay? Now, 